All right, now pivoting away from all of these guys, you know Spence very well. You know Crawford very well. I hate putting dudes on the spot, man. I really do because I know you're cool with both guys, man. But if you had yeah. to lean, <laughs> if you had to lean towards somebody who you think is going to win that fight, what you think, brother? All right, to me the odds is fair. Did you see the back the, the bad odds on the fight? It's about even other – most sides probably have Crawford the slight, slight, slight favorite. Oh, th th fair. That's fair to me. I think it's 50-50. I think this fight going to boil literally down to who's the best that night. Mm. Honestly, that fight is so close of a fight that, um, you know, it, it, it's to me one of them kind of fights like who going to have a better night. Um, You got two guys that's pretty consistent with their performances. Um. I think uh, Earl, Earl, you know, got the advantage on the inside. Um, you know, he's a good boxer, but there's just a pressure boxer. You know, he pressure you off that jab, got good body shots. And Terrence, to me, Terrence got more in his dimension. You know, he can move. He can switch. He got more speed. I think he got better timing uh, than Earl. Uh, Are you leaning towards Crawford to, to probably pull out the I, – Yeah. I have to lean out because, you know, I just can't imagine them losing. But then it's crazy because I, I can't imagine uh, Earl Smith losing either. So when you pick any guy out of the sky, I say, and this like, I mean, I, I just think that it's close enough to where if one of them slip, they got to be at their best that night. Like it's that close of a fight to me. Like it's, um, you know, it's a super close fight. Like they, uh, and they both some killers. Like they both. You know, um, they both some killers, man. We talked on the other joint that got it written that we ain't record by mistake, but uh, you know, um, I'm impressed. I'm real impressed with both of them. Like they, um, uh, me and Terrence used to actually, you know, we lived together, but uh, we his roommates when he first turned pro. Mm -hmm. So to see him grow and become what he became and, and what it took to get there, because he didn't had an easy road there. And then, you know, I seen my first time watching Earl was when he came to spark with Floyd Mayweather for that camp. So, yeah, I'm impressed with both of them at the highest uh, level. So this is going to be a great fight. Speaking of Floyd, I'm not going to necessarily I don't. All right, let me just ask the question before putting my input in it. Um, would you put would you be willing to put Terrence Crawford in the same breath? As Floyd Mayweather, if he beats Spence, becomes undisputed twice. Nobody's ever done it. And he moves up to 54, beats Jamel, becomes a three-time undisputed champion. Would you be willing to put him on the same level as Floyd, man? If there's anybody that you that deserve it, if you beat both of them, you deserve to be right there. If, I mean, if you if you beat Earl and you go up and beat Charlo, oh, yeah, you can't argue against putting him right there. I mean... The only way you can argue against if you're just looking at the box office, but mm -hmm. to me, um, him winning those fights would put him a um, uh, uh, even bigger box office draw. Like I think, well, this fight should do over a million buys. You know, I think it deserves a you think billion. Going to do over a million? I mean, you got so many people that still know how to steal the pay per view now. I I don't know, but I hope so because this is one of the fights that really deserve it. It deserve over a million because it's. To me, the best fight that you can make in boxing right now is, is to me, the best fight in 10, 20 years. Uh, I look at it like a, a like a Sugar Ray Leonard versus Tommy Hearns or a Sugar Ray Leonard versus Hagler type of fight. So, um, I mean, this that's a great fight. Like, they deserve everybody, you know, I pay whatever to for a ticket to the fight or to buy it. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say the same, but I got a feeling your bag a little bigger than my bag, so I ain't going to say all of that, but <laughs> I'd pay a lot of money to see it, though, for sure. Um, yeah, how you got to watch it. If you got to uh, buy it, to me, it's worth the 100 some dollars that they're going to charge, probably. I mean, it's worth that. For sure, 100%, man. Hopefully, everybody buys it or just goes to the arena. It's going to be it's gonna be ridiculous. It, man. Yeah, closed circuit, whatever, but both of them some killers, so I just think that it's going to be a great fight. I think it, it it can be a split decision or a drawish type fight. Um, I'm sure they're going to have a rematch or something like that. So, uh, I mean, that's a great fight. So, last question. Something that Crawford said that I, I just wrote a story for BoxingScene.com. Um, Crawford did say that, yo, look, if Floyd was still fighting, 
I beat him, man. And you've seen Floyd up close and personal since he was in his 20s. And like you said, that you were living with Crawford at one point. So you know him extremely well. Not going to say, do you think he could beat Floyd? Well, no, I'm just going to straight up ask you. Do you think Crawford could beat Floyd if Floyd was still fighting at 147? Um, if it's anybody that I can even see having a close, because to me, Floyd is just unbeatable. Like, he just, just me seeing Floyd, man, he he the best i ever seen at adapting. Like, Floyd can adapt to anything. He just, you know, um, Floyd is just unreal. And when it comes to boxing, like, if he can't do shit else, when it comes to boxing, <laughs> him and we just was born – I mean, him and his him and his father, his uncles, they just was born to be like boxing geniuses. So uh if I don't even get nobody a chance other than well, I'ma say this at World to Weight, you know, it, other than the Sugar Ray Leonard's and Hearns, like the bigger guys, yeah, you could get them a a, a, a an edge over Floyd May because of size. Like Floyd is not really even a 47, 54 pounder. He just was good enough to go up and fight those weights because of the skill level. But yeah. um, Crawford and Spence would be two of the only guys I would even consider given the chance to beat Floyd. But the same thing I said about Earl and Spence, and Earl and uh, Bud, like uh, I can't imagine either one of them losing, but them two, the only one I could see beating each other. But to me, Floyd is the most unreal fighter that I really just me really being around him for so many years. Yeah. I couldn't put nobody over beating Floyd. I'm yeah. gonna just be with you. Like I couldn't now nah, if it happened, it ain't like I'm gonna be like, oh, but I never I can't see nobody beating Floyd because I've seen him adapt. I knew Floyd since Floyd was about 24 years old. So you know, I was a teenager. I seen him boxing and, and get like he just the most like he know how to adapt and just find out a way, figure out a way to win. He's just so smart of a fighter that um to pick a winner against him. When I think of people that I think can beat him for sure, not for sure, but I would I would have to go back to the errors of like the Sugar Ray Leonard, Duran, and those guys.